Okay, guys, so this is the month of August. A lot of you had a lot of questions. Why are you doing comfort food when you don't normally eat comfort food? Because you guys do. And I want to do some great recipes on something that will make you feel good. The times have been tough. The world's gone crazy. Comfort food is exactly that. There's a lot of suicides are up and uh, anxiety is medications up. So I want to add in my show, I want to add to helping. I want to add to people's comfort. So I'm going to do recipes that will make you feel better or comfortable or however you look at it. Uh, we're doing all month of August. We're doing comfort food. And I'm pretty excited to uh, bring these recipes to you. I got it all mapped out. I'm all ready to go. September, we're doing something else exciting. There's a lot coming to the show. Um, but I want to talk about this, this dish right here, this platter. So I'm going to bring you in close to look at this. Then we'll go to the recipe, okay? But today we're doing uh, mac and cheese. And this is supposed to be like an award-winning recipe. So I'm hoping it's good. I surveyed you guys. There's two types of uh, mac and cheese that I've had. There's the kind of dry and dense and clumpy mac and cheese. And then there's the creamy, juicy, wonderful, all you can taste is the flowing of cheese in your mouth. That mac and cheese. All of you went for the creamy and wet mac and cheese and not the dry and dense mac and cheese. So anyway, uh, let's bring you in close and show you what I'm going to make the mac and cheese in because I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I just want to show you. So anyway, I picked this comfort food for this dish. You guys remember I Mark You? I M A R K U. I Mark You. They've sent other things to the show. They sent this. This is brand new. Okay. This is literally probably the heaviest, heavier than my cast iron. This is like, this is a Dutch oven. It is a cast iron Dutch oven that is ceramic coated and is beautiful. The, it weighs, I mean, I'm having trouble lifting the lid. That's how heavy it is. It's the heaviest thing I have in the kitchen, but it's amazing. It's solid construction. I feel like it's like a big, big red egg. Like I want to cook in the big red egg, right? Because that's how the big green egg is made. That's how I feel this is made. Okay, guys, let's run down all the ingredients right here. We got, got a stick of butter, a little bit of flour. Here's our elbow macaroni, milk, half and half, salt and pepper, a little paprika, and I think that's everything. Yep. First thing you're going to do is you're going to preheat your oven real quick. Let's uh, turn that on. We're going to do bake. 350 start. There we go. Once the oven's preheating, 350, you're going to grease your pan. Got a little olive oil spray that I'm using. You can use whatever you want. All right, first thing we're going to do is cook our macaroni. This was boiling a second ago until I dumped the pasta in, and now it's not. Got a little bit of salt in there. I might drop a little bit of oil just to keep it kind of from sticking to itself. But cook up that, uh, that elbow macaroni al dente, which is usually about a minute less than done. So that you got a little, little toughness, little firmness, very slight. We cook the macaroni, it's, being, it's drained by the sink, waiting to be used again. Take your butter, throw it in a saucepan. Go ahead and melt that up. Make sure the flame's on, yep, the flame's good. All the butter's melted. Go ahead and sprinkle in your flour. Seems a little hot, lower your flame a little bit. Keep a flame going, get that stirred in quickly. Stir your flour into your butter and let it cook for about a minute. Pour in a little bit of your, your milk in half and half. Either one, I don't care which one you do first. Just put a little bit in. Work it in. Get it all smooth and creamy. There we go. You can see it's starting to look a little creamy. Put a little more milk in and half and half. I believe this is the milk first, then we'll go to the half and half. You're gonna work your dairy in, well, your liquid milk 
in your liquid half and half is going to be worked in first. Okay, keep going. Take your seasoning, sprinkle that in. Get that all mixed in. So go ahead and grab some cheese. You'll see all the measurements and everything. Just a little bit of cheese, there we go. Get that mixed in. The whole the whole idea is to get it to melt. Alright, don't be impatient. I'm the worst for waiting. I'll turn it up high just to get it to go faster. Okay, work the cheese in. Don't use all of it. The instructions will tell you how to break up your cheese and separate it so you have enough to top it off. I have a bowl of cheese waiting, shredded cheese, waiting for me to top off this whole dish. Guys, we're gonna add this into there. You ready? Here we go. It's a lot of cheese. A lot of dairy. Loving it. Take your spoon and gently mix it in. Work it in. Still pretty hot. Work it in. All right, we got our baking dish. Bring the macaroni and cheese over. Now it says to pour half cheese, then pour half. I'm pouring the whole thing in. I'm not waiting. I'm going to cheese the top. I got enough cheese in this. I'm not worried. I don't need to cheese the half level. I just want to make sure we got this spread out. We're going to top it off the whole thing with cheese and get it ready for the oven. Okay. That's what this last part of the cheese was for. Just dump it there and then spread it around. Whoops, get it all out. And spread it around with your hands. We need more cheese. Crack open some more cheese. I got enough cheese in this. I'm not looking to bake a block of cheese. So, got it all nice and beautiful. So, now we're going to bake this, okay? Uh, 350, excuse me. Going to bake this 350 till golden brown. You see a little bit of highlights, however you like it. All right, guys. This came out better than I thought. Perfect caramelization of the cheese. It's nice and cool, almost done. We're going to give we're going to give it a try in a minute. Okay, guys. Just want to show you what this looks like. It looks beautiful. It's interesting because I asked you dense or creamy and wet, and this is both. Like the top's dense, the inside's creamy and wet. Who would have thought you could have both, right? Oh yeah, this is coming together real nice. Here we go. Okay guys, do not go with one cheese. Go with multiples. The Gruyere gives it a big kick. Um, I love Gruyere. The recipe said Gruyere. You can do whatever two cheeses you like. Monterey, cheddar, whatever. Have fun with it. But I have to tell you, it came out really good. That's how you make it. So we've just kicked off Comfort Food Month. The whole month of August. We have so many more. You have no idea. You guys gave me all the ideas. So you probably do have an idea. Um, we're going to do all the comfort foods that you love, all right? So if you haven't subscribed, hit the button down below. Subscribe to my channel. Um, more is on the way, all right? I love you guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.